Okay, so uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Anton Antonio, and I will be your host for today. Welcome to Pro Earth Chats, episode 17. We're kind of excited today uh, because uh, we, we went on uh, some kind of a vacation for about a month, but now we're back and still shouting and kicking for Mother Nature. So uh, we're also very excited today. So we're also very excited today uh, because we have in our mids as our pro uh, earth chats. Kind excited today because okay, uh, we have in our mids today uh, a uh, friend of uh, the pro earth uh, crusaders, and uh, you know the pro earth chats uh, is an initiative of the pro earth crusaders. And uh, we have also uh, in our meets today a pro Earth crusader himself. I think he's been crusading for Mother Earth more than most of us. Uh, and hindi naman hindi ko naman sinasabi matanda na siya, no. But uh, he is, you know, uh, ever since I got involved in in the environment, eh, lagi ko na naririnig ko pangalan nato. However, you know, uh, fortunate, uh, very fortunate for me. I was able to meet him finally about uh, two, three years ago, and uh, we struck uh, a very, very warm and very close relationship. And uh, hindi wala wala naman ako ano wala naman ako tendencies or kahit siya wala naman siguro mga tendencies yan. But it was a friendship really made by Mother Earth, and uh, we're still here. We're still, uh, as I've said, we're still kicking for Mother Earth. So I would like to introduce our special resource speaker today. I wouldn't like to come up really with a very, very long, long, you know, introduction because it might dilute, you know, uh, the the progress or the the things that this man has made for the environment. I would just like to introduce him simply as the national president of the Green Party of the Philippines. Kalikasan Muna. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Sir David D'Angelo. David, good afternoon. Yes, good afternoon, uh, Sir Anton. Magandang magandang hapon sa inyong lahat at sa mga nanonood dyan sa kanilang bahay at kung nasaan man kayo, kung nasa lansangan, good afternoon and have a great weekend and enjoy the show with us. Hopefully, you can learn something with our discussion today. Maraming salamat for inviting me here in uh, the Pro Earth Chats. Thank you. Okay, and, yes, and uh, we're, uh, Dave, we're very, very glad to have you here. In fact, alam mo, ano, eh, taon na yata binilang natin at ano, eh, laging... <laughs> Sabi mo, kailan ba ako i-invite ni Sir Anton doon sa Pro Earth Chats? <laughs> yeah, Dat- no. Muntik na ako magtampo. Alam ko naman, hindi ko magtampo. Alam ko naman, hindi ko Tambo. And uh, I'm I'm very very uh, certain, man, that uh, you know we we don't really save the best for last, no? but at least uh, medyo may konti drama yung pag pag enter mo. And I think it will be very very timely. But uh, before we go into the you know the very uh, the nitty gritty of things, si Kanga, Dave, uh, can can you uh, give our audience and myself uh, some more uh details about uh, the things that keeps you busy dave uh technically right now uh, i am also a member of action kalikasan i am the director for digital affairs of the organization i'm also recently had been a part of the rotary club of alabang madigal business park as their uh, director for online event management and public relations aside from that uh, siguro some uh, environmentalists or environmental people would uh, would be shocked that I'm also a gamer. I do I do live streaming. <laughs> yeah, nagla live stream ako ng games. I also do, do cosplay and I I have a small business as well. This works with digital marketing. So yan yung mga pinagkakaabalahan natin. Okay. Of yeah. course lolo na rin yan. Yeah, may, uh, 
<laughs> Biglang naging lolo. <laughs> Akala ko you will you will never you know mention that. But uh, then again, welcome to the to the brand new and and world of uh, being a grandpa. Ako rin eh. Marami na rin ako apo. <laughs> apat. <laughs> apat na apo ko. No, actually ano, ani mga apo ko but uh, you know, may naging na apat lang. Hindi nga doon sa iba, pag muna nila susundan, baka mamaya eh. Mamaya agad eh, magtapos muna at saka enjoy their life then. Yeah, oh, but saka ano, for every ano, apo that, uh, that comes your way, that's really actually a grace from God. Yeah, And, yeah, ito. Uh, masarap pang apo eh. Well, with uh, due, ano, with due apologies to my children, but masarap talaga apo. <laughs> anyway, yeah, uh, let me just mention that we have... Uh, Yeah, Rachel Baldonado with us watching uh, oh. and she said she said uh, good afternoon sir Anton Antonio and sir David D'Angelo. So good afternoon uh, Rachel, thanks for for finding time to uh, watch us. Dave, would you like to say anything to Rachel please? Yeah, good afternoon Ma'am Rachel, kamusta? Pagaling ka. Man. Be healthy. Ang kasama natin sa Green Party one of our fellow uh, nominees uh, if ever that we will be lucky be approved by the COMELEC to participate in the party list elections. No? Hopefully. Oh. Well, that's great news. Anyway, before we go into that, we'll get into that. Uh, Dave, can you give us a little history of uh, uh, the Green Party of the Philippines? I mean, so that we can have a background or yung ating mga nakikinig. Dave. Actually, no, I'll, I'll be honest with everyone that's been watching. Uh, the Green Party of the Philippines started in 2003. And uh, its its name is actually Partido Kalikasan, which that party actually still exists today, Partido Kalikasan. I've been a member 2004. I was college pa ako nun, bata pa, no? So, kasama dyan si na Doc ni Nagalang, other environmentalists who have been part of the Green Party. Pero siguro as part of many organizations, there are, there are many uh, principles involved. That resulted into you know changes in some some of the members joining a new party, forming a new party. And then uh, when I became the coordinator, the campaign coordinator for Nicanor Perlas in 2010, uh, the one that ran for president, the environmentalist, I eventually became a member of his party called Partido ng Marangal na Sambayanan or Pangmasa. And then uh, when he lost. Honestly, got you know. Sabi ko ayoko na ng politika, so malis ako sa Green Party. But they continue, no? They continue creating the party. And then I came back just I think 2017 to help uh, Roy Camonegro, who is now the is now in charge of the Makalikasan or Nature Party of the Philippines. Then when he left, I became the national president of the party. Sabi ko, no, it's it's not my party. I'm not. Uh, an in-depth environmental scientist. But I think with the long history, we have 17 years of long history, people founded uh, new parties. But in my, sabi ko, in my mind, it's better, no? Kahit magkakaiba pa yan at pangalan, we are all uh, green parties that will eventually, no, help each other and protect the environment. So, ganun katagal bumuo. Siguro not only political parties, kita niyo naman yung partido nag-aawing yan, di ba sabihin, no? Pero mahirap po talagang magkasundo ang mga tao uh, sa kanilang mga prinsipyo. And eventually, you just need to respect each other on what you believe in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I agree absolutely. You know, um, yeah. I think, uh, you know, I, I think uh, ang nangyayari, especially in our political scene, no? Nangyayari, pagalingan eh. No, uh, I think uh, pagalingan because it's... Uh, personality you know it's personality driven eh? however in the case of environmental uh, advocates iba naman eh iba naman yung plane natin eh iba naman yung plane ng ng laro ano it's more i mean what can i do what can i do for for the environment i mean what can we do for the environment it be in the yung what can we do that you cannot do you no know? tama tama that's a different kasi uh, sir anton no? parang There's people kasi that needs to transcend from from what they personally need. Kasi ako kahit pagtiyan ako sarili ko, ano ba napapala ko dito sa voluntary service, nagagasusan ka pa. You need to to think above that na itong ginagawa mo ay hindi na para sa'yo. Parang you need to think something beyond yourself. Kasi pag 
nandun ka sa ano na ano ba ang mapapala ko sa ginagawa ko pag wala ka na isagot na personal sa iyo parang dong nagsisimula kang magkaroon ng doubts no so kapag siguro i think beyond that that's what would make you go on to do something uh, lana for the environment kasi napaka abstract minsan ng mga <laughs> ang mga gusto nating mangyari di ba hindi agad nakikita eh yeah yeah dave i remember you know two three decades ago eh you know uh, yung grupo natin no yung uh, pro earth crusaders we would talk about the environment and <laughs> pinagtatawa na kami para bang you know para bang we're crazy para bang uh, you know you guys are from out of this world para bang hindi kayo you know hindi kami tao ganun but uh, of course uh, then again uh, talking about a little of the history of advocacy in, uh, here in the Philippines or even elsewhere uh, pero nung nagumpisa na nagsalita itong sila you know people like uh, vice president Al Gore the pope you know then uh, Barack Obama and and the others no yung mga medyo mga sikat na mga ano na mga mga you know personalities medyo nagkaroon na tayo ng ano nagkaroon na tayo ng counting nagkaroon na tayo ng counting voice yeah and uh ano ko lang no uh, parang uh, tama si Canoel no I, I i read these comments no Um, ayong partido kalikasan in fact kasama talaga doon si uh, Peps Kunanan no. And even yung mga kasama natin sa Alyansa Tigil Mina. So it all started with them. And mm-hmm. that history will always be uh, remembered no. Ayoko kasi ng parang some parties would not mention other competing parties pero for for me personally ha, it's my personal stand. We have to be thankful and remember uh, the history and who we are. Kasi if you will not uh, remember that, sabi nga, di ba? Ang hindi lumingon sa pinanggalingan ay hindi makakarating sa paroroonan. And I am a firm believer of that. Yeah. Well, uh, take away the stiff neck, di ba? Hindi naman tayo maging masyadong uptight, no? Hindi <laughs> naman pwede palaging lumilingon. Siyempre, paminsan-minsan, lilingon ang mapasasalamatan mo. Yes. Of you have to move forward and look forward, no? Yes, of course. Uh, you know, uh, especially itong uh, ginagawa natin is not really that popular. So, you know, kailangan we, we should uh, always keep our feet on the ground. No? Ika nga. Well, uh, Dave, I'd like to mention that uh, Emmanuel Ikan Astillero is uh, also watching watching us right now. And uh, yeah, he came up with uh, several, you know, several comments that you already acknowledged. And also, uh, see si Mauro Bravo Jr. is also watching. And we have uh, Mauro Bravo is actually from uh, Agusan. So oh. we've, got, uh, we've got people watching from, from Mindanao. And we also have August D. Miklat, who's, uh, I guess, watching from Tarlac. And uh, yeah, as they, as they come, uh, we will, and if they have some concerns, uh, let's just put, uh, plug them in, uh, Dave, so para tuloy tuloy yung ginagawa natin. Now, Okay, uh, looks like, you know, uh, the Green Party of the Philippines with all the names no, uh, na, that were uh, attached to it before uh, seems to be, you know, uh, seems to have a flowery, very flowery, you know, uh, history. So, okay, let's talk about, you know, okay, sasabihin nila, okay, Green Party of the Philippines. So what have you guys done so far since... Uh, you were organized as the Green Party of the Philippines. So, ano, can can you give us even a a short rundown of the things or the accomplishments of uh, the Green Party of the Philippines, Dave? Siguro I would uh, I would like to acknowledge kaya ng mga nakaraan since uh, the GPP Kalikasan Musa has been part of that group since uh, Partido Kalikasan and then the time with uh, the former President Troy. Uh, it has been consistent part, consistently participating in uh, advocacy and then in policy uh, campaigns no Kasi since this is a political party it's more on uh, policy campaigning and policy advocacy so very active tayo diyan uh, climate action issue dito sa uh, campaign on the moratorium on mining since 2003 and 2004 i have remember i remember attending uh, meeting in uh, Cagayan de Oro no Uh, for this campaign, kasama natin dyan si na JB Garganera ng Alianza Tigilmina, 
si also si Attorney Batin, si Attorney Rabanera kasama natin. So until now kasi uh, during my time the focus that we had been doing now is to really institutionalize the Green Party. I think kasi this is the one that has been uh, walang focus ng mga nakaraan because it's all advocacy. So sabi namin, it's about time that we became a legal entity. We register with the COMELEC. Huwag nating, uh, huwag nating intayin na yung huwag tayong matakot na i-grab na opportunity na panahon na para there's something naman to speak about speak about the environment if ever doon sa uh, governance arena. Kasi we have done so much in campaigning eh. Baka naman panahon na na yung communication ay mabuo. Mayroong makikinig naman do sa mga advocates at dadalhin mismo yung polisiya na gusto nila. Oh, okay, yeah, great. So, uh, you know, uh, anyway, before we talk about that, yung, uh, you know, what's what's in uh, what's into the minds of the uh, of GPP when it made you know, a decision to uh, you know throw its hat into the political arena however you know you know they uh my organization i could only talk about it you know yung uh, uh, pro earth crusaders we agreed you know a long time ago na dalawang bagay ang wag nating pakikialaman if you want to be effective in our advocacy kailangan wag tayong makialam in so far as two things are concerned one is uh, religion and two is politics no so uh, i think to a certain degree even people from uh, you know us in the gpp also have this in mind so what made the gpp make a turn around and say no we're going into politics dave uh Kung titignan mo kasi that the term politics is not only limited to government. Eh. In every day that you do, there is a, a certain politics even in your house, no? In dealing with your children and your wife, you have to, di ba? You have to resort to, to some politics, di ba? So, even in doing advocacies in your organization, there are organizational politics. In, uh, at work, there are work politics. So, I think the main reason for doing this is parang, there are so many advocates of the environment already. We are protesting time and time again. But the question is, who is on the other side listening and then talking to people that are really concerned about the environment? See, you cannot just wait for any politician. Not that I'm saying that they are not interested. They might be interested. But there is nobody yet that's the sole commitment is only environmentalism, no? environmental governance. I think yun yung main, ano, main reason. Eh. To put uh, new policies and better policies and then to implement uh, poli policies together with all the environmental organizations. Ano pa mga side yan? Pula ba yan? Uh, centrist ba yan? Right ba yan? Nag-aralan natin, di ba? Wag See, this is a, it should be a holistic approach, no? You should not, uh, diba, don, hindi mo dapat alisin yung, ay, ay, ayaw ko dyan, hindi pwedeng ganun, eh. Environmental uh, protection and environmentalism should be a holistic approach. And governance is very important. Kasi it will take a very, very long time if ever you have a good environmental advocacy and policy in mind. If your government is not align with what you are doing. Yun ang pinakamahirap talaga. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree, no? Uh, yes, I think that the most that uh, environmentalists and environmental advocate uh, organization, uh, advocacy organizations have done, no? Is only to lobby. Hanggang dun lang tayo, eh. We could do as much, pero hanggang lobbying lang tayo because you're not there. So, are you trying to tell us now, uh, Dave, na yung pagpasok ng uh, GPP into the political arena is to push things more than lobbying. At least nandun na. At may uh, hindi lang nakikinig, dala na kagad yung mga ina, uh, hinaing ng mga, na mga people uh, who are pro-environment. Dave? Yes, yes. That's it. Uh, we will not only push for the agenda that we have as a Green Party. Hindi mali yun eh. If, if kung sino lang yung nasa Green Party of the Philippines, Ilang yung agenda ng gagawin namin, and we will not listen to other organization. That will 
in effect, make us a traditional political party, di ba? So, we are there. Our aim is to listen, to sit down with all the uh, environmental organizations and even concerned individuals kung ano yung dapat gawin. And together, let us work to create policies and then help uh, leaders execute these policies. Kasi parang yun ang kulang eh. Kasi kung nandun kami, if ever, no, uh, that will be our main focus. Eh. We are not beholden to a district kasi di naman kami congressman na isang distrito. We are beholden to the environment and to these constituents alone. Kung kailangan ng kausap, andyan kami, di ba? Hindi namin pwedeng sabihin, ay busy pa ako kasi uh, may meeting ako sa distrito. No? Uh, we will, we will uh, allocate time to finally push for policies that are being campaigned by uh, everyone. Siyempre, upon consideration and and sitting down with them, considering the the effects, the pros and cons of the policy, siyempre, hindi naman lahat ng pro-environment ay eh, uh, maganda na. Diba? Kailangan natin pag-aralan kung ano yung pros and cons and then eventually, come up together with something that would uh, benefit everyone for a better and greener future of our country. Okay, great, great. Yeah, uh, I agree, uh, Dave. Uh, so, at least, uh, yeah, I think that's um, uh, the bigger the bigger chunk of the problems ng mga environmental advocates kasi right now eh. Para bang they've got all the, you know, they, they consult people, they con- uh, LGUs, uh, you know, POs and everything, you know. Talagang ano, they network uh, their organizations with other organizations. Then they come up with perfect policies or at least doable policies. Ang problema, they cannot institutionalize these policies because they just don't have any ear that listens to them sa kongreso. So will do you think that this uh, move of GBP will now solve that problem, Dave? I would not say that it would solve. Kasi parang, pag sinabi, it would solve, parang messianic naman na, na claim, no? na parang kami yung solusyon. Ang solusyon pa rin dito, we will try within our power to do what others are not doing. And then we need the help of everyone to create these solutions and so institutionalize this. Because without them, kahit anong gawin namin eh, uh, kahit kami gumawa ng polisiya without the support of other people believing that we need a better environment, it will na, parang it will be useless and futile. So sama-sama, sama-sama talaga to. Di lang kami. Yeah, okay. Dave, can you give, uh, ano lang, just para uh, we could para bang come up with a concrete uh, example no of a policy na kailangan suportahan at i-push talaga in 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 congress para maging law so can can you give at least one ano lang uh, well of course marami nang mga laws diyan uh, and uh, you know from solid waste management etc etc 9003 pero may kakulangan ba ron or do you think there's uh, give us one concrete example, one big one? I mean that that will make our audience really uh, believe na oh, eh, tama, you know, dapat talaga gawin nila yan. You know, for them to para bang uh, ang tagal na natin ganyan na ano lang palabi-labi lang, pero this time we want to get into the arena and fix things ourselves. So yes, and one example, please, Dave. Siguro, ano, if, if uh, you will allow me, I will give two, no? Dalawa. <laughs> Sige, please. Una, siguro, yung, yung, yung wala pa, which encompasses all, also the existing policies, would be uh, the, a declaration of the climate emergency in the Philippines. No? Uh, this, this bill is very important because we need to acknowledge that uh, the climate crisis is here, that we need to go beyond repairing houses, we need to, to see how to eventually uh, save lives, create a better disaster preparedness, create a better execution of the existing laws, the zero waste management law and other laws under the pretext of a climate emergency. So, napakahalaga nan. It's not climate change. It's a climate crisis. It's a climate emergency. So, right now, just right now, sa, sa, sa Germany ito, di ba? Could you imagine nagkaroon ng baha, ang daming namatay, that has never happened to them. Sa US, 70 degrees, that's not Fahrenheit, that's Celsius. Diba? 
And the second bill would be an existing uh, pending bill, which is the the passage of the creation of an environmental protection and, uh, and enforcement bureau for the, for the DNR. Because the DNR should be empowered no, to really get into these uh, environmental violators. No? They should be an agency that is empowered. And ang problema kasi, without the EPEB bill, marami doon sa ating mga rangers, sa mga enforcers, ang namamatay. So we really need to empower the DNR and their agency to protect our environment. So I think those are the main laws that uh, we think is very important for the environment. And uh, you know, Dave, that that's a very, very, you uh, know, very broad yung ano yung inopen mong <laughs> inopen mong uh, usapan niya, no? Kasi you know, uh, we have two basic ano eh, yung geography natin, no? Uh, uh, meron tayong you know, we've got the coastal, the marine, and we also have the upland, no? Yung uh, terrestrial. No, ang problem kasi natin dyan is mas malaki ang ating marine, no? So and and uh, over yung uh, terrestrial areas so if you were to make a choice dave or the green party of the philippines has to make a choice alin ang mas bibigyan ng priority dapat will it be the marine side or the the terrestrial side considering na dapat ang focus natin talaga would be towards a uh, a balanced biodiversity so dave please uh, I don't think I I am I have no right to, to you know to choose between them. No? Mahirap eh. Okay. See, it's like you're you're choosing from alim ba yung as important alim ba yung dapat unahin. I think there should be a proper research and study to know saan ba tayo mas vulnerable. And then if we are more vulnerable on the marine side, then we do that first. But if we are more vulnerable on the terrestrial side, we do that first. So it will be. It will depend on a research, a proper research with data. I say, ako, I, I, I could not decide because I do not know the data. So until there is data, that is the proper time to decide. Alim ba yung dapat natin unahin? Good, good. You know, Dave, ano lang kasi, no? Just, just a, uh, what's this, a, a general data that I could give you. You know, uh, we've always been under the impression na, you know, we need oxygen, di ba? And the oxygen only comes from the forest, diba? green. But do, people actually don't know that there is more oxygen coming from, from the oceans, no? from the marine area. No? So, you know, ano, you know, I think this, uh, this research should be really soli- uh, should come into uh, some solid, you know, solid statements no? and so, uh, solid uh, results. Para talagang ma, ano, ma, I mean, it will all guide us all, no? Hindi lang yung, you know, people in now say, hopefully when the GPP makes it there, o oh, andyan na kayo sa leg- legislature kami, nandito pa rin sa labas. So at least we are all on the same page, di ba? So we could uh, mababalansin natin what what sort of uh, attention we could uh, we could give, whether sa marine or sa ano. Kasi, you know... When, the uh, reason, yeah, the reason behind that is mas madaling mag magtanim ng puno, eh, di ba? <laughs> Parang it's easier to plant a tree uh, in land than to you know to rehabilitate uh, marine life, lana yung plants uh, uh, within the sea. And I think I would con- I would applaud one Rotary Club in Timonan Quezon. Do do na kulo makita na ogaling eh. They built this artificial reef in the uh, Lamon Bay area. Para ma-regenerate yung, uh, yung marine life and biodiversity. So yun, ma- mas mahirap kaysa magtanim ka talaga ng puno, di ba? Everyone can plant a tree, pero ang hirap gumawa ng mga artificial coral reefs and then replenish the ano. Kaya siguro sabi na iba, magtanim tayo ng puno. Pero wala nang mali doon. Yeah, of course. Uh, there is no debate there. Anyway, ano lang, we, we all agree na tama. Let's plant trees. That's fine. Pero yun na nga, at any rate, this is something for for the GPP perhaps to look into no? uh, later uh, kapag gano na, nandiyan na. No? So, it seems to me that the future plan of uh, the GPP or uh, Green Party of the Philippines is really to uh, 
to touch on the policy making no uh, and and through by institutionalizing policies through legislation so uh Dave, major controversial to, huh? <laughs> <laughs> what are the policies, present policies, that uh, you think, Dinaman? I, I will not make it too hard for you. What are the present poli environmental policies that you think should be uh, major uh, repaired or or or, or uh, you know re-engineered, para naman uh, maging aligned sila dun sa actual um maging align sila do sa actual concern for global warming or or you know yung uh, ating uh, climate emergency dave siguro i would per se yung sa mining no uh, i would per se the mining policy because we the the, the current administration opened the uh, the mining permits again no i think it is uh, correct to continue what uh, uh, former dnr secretary gina lopez did but not the closing of the mines. No? It's evaluation of all the uh, current mining contracts and then see and correct uh, what they are doing, ano ba yung ginagawa nila, ano ba yung mga violations, and then uh, make this better. I, I am, no, no, I would say I am not totally against mining. Uh, at some point, we should admit that we need it, but this mining should be least benefiting our country person our people so kailangan protected your environment kailangan hindi sigana na ganung kadami and uh, sana hindi yung mga sobrang nagbabiolate like some some companies uh, with the abbreviation of CH na doon sila galing di ba parang uh, kahit wala pang permit nagmimina na sila like what's like what's happening in Candelaria Sambales that is very sad di ba kawawa yung mga tao also in Mindanao i think Hindi ko alam ko sa agusan yun, pero kay, according to Sir Chito Trillanes, isa yung talk to, so dapat natin i-review yun, magkaroon ng moratorium for the meantime, and then review, uh, review all the permits. Second, perhaps, is uh, the approach on uh, rehabilitation of uh, our marine resources. Like sa, I think sa Manila Bay, no? I would not say na mali yung uh, dolomite. It's part of the beautification of Manila Bay. But we are hoping that uh, we would be presented with a more holistic uh, picture of what will be done. Like, uh, will the mangroves be rehabilitated? Ano bang gagawin sa mga taong nandun sa tabi ng, ng bay areas? What will be done to the uh, rivers and tributaries? Say, if you clean a bay, dapat po malinis din ang rivers. And malinis din yung estero. Kasi tatlo yan eh. There are steros, ito yung creeks na tinatawag, yung pinakamaliit, ba? And then it goes to the river, and then eventually it goes to the ocean. So three factors, hindi pa pwedeng doon ka sa ocean agad maglinis. Kung madumi pa rin yung other two sources mo. So I think this is not only for Manila Bay, kasi hindi lang po ito ang problema natin. We are having problems with other bodies of water in the country. And we should have a holistic and localized approach uh, sa mga issue na ito. And lastly, it's our transport system. We should siguro have a policy that is not focused on one solution. Like, ang bawa, electric jeeps. Mayroon ako nakikita na senator just proposing for that. It should be a sustainable transportation. Uh, aralan lahat ng alternatives and create proper approach that is holistic. Uh, dapat sustainable transportation ang ating gawin. And then again, localized. Because Metro Manila is not the same as Baguio, it's not the same as because in Visayas and Mindanao, it should be a localized approach. I think with one national uh, standard view, providing a guide, uh, guiding factor, and then uh, each uh, LGUs should be empowered to have a, a localization of that uh, sustainable transportation. Siyempre, yung pinaka-importante, uh, we are... Uh, and to you know to have the environment really connect with the people yung kaya nga what, what we have talked before probably is food security no mahalaga yon so if we revive the environment we will have more food security like stopping this land conversion uh, i i will i will honestly tell that 
<laughs> Bakit nagka-convert ng land? Kasi po, ang mga magsasaka natin ay nararamdaman na sila ay mababang uri ng tao. And that should stop. We should empower farmers. We should empower agriculture. We should provide proper care for these people. Mahalaga po ito mga to kasi if we don't have lands to till, if we don't have food, we cannot eat buildings and money. That's, that's very true. Kahit ang dahil mong pera, pag wala ka mabiling pagkain at pag walang magsusuloy ng pagkain sa'yo, mamamatay ka. So napakahalaga ang food security that we give the dignity of our farmers, of those working in the environment back to them. Yan, yan lang, uh, Sir Radyo. Naano ko. <laughs> na uh, imbay ko ako doon sa last na yun. Okay, yeah. Uh, mukha yatang nagiging emotional ka. <laughs> Awa uh, talaga kasi ako sa kanila. Kasi parang, alam mo, pag magsasaka ka, ang, ang tingin mo sa sarili mo, ay, ang baba-baba mo, it should not be like that. Diba, parang ayaw nila na magsaka yung kanilang mga anak. Kasi, there is a lack of proper uh, government uh, provision for the agricultural sector. Hindi ko sinasabing wala. Kulang. Kailangan natin sila empower talaga. Uh, para maramdaman naman nila na mahalaga sila. Kasi yung mga ito, nag- they, provided, they provide food. Pero karamihan sila yung nagugutom. Di ba? Kawawa naman. Sila yung baon sa utang. Di ba? Karang... Yo, ma- ano yan? Ma- you know, but, but again, <laughs> People just don't don't understand, Dave. Na ang environment really touches a lot. Multidisciplinary to, eh. you know, and uh, it touches a lot of a lot of things, you no, know, on other things, no. Hindi lang yung okay, hindi lang yung concern na eh, climate change, ganun lang. No, uh, even you know, even the farmers uh, are affected by by yes, by yes. climate, and of course, you know, if they're affected, next. The, the next domino that will fall would be food security. Mm-hmm. Yeah, very critical, critical, and I'm very glad that you mentioned that. Uh, aside from the, you know, you mentioned mo kanina na upstream downstream approach to, uh, you know, yung, uh, you know, the dolomite problem. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Anyway, uh, let's, uh, ano, uh, take a little hey, break. Tayo sa mga ganda. Eh. <laughs> Pag maganda, <laughs> they appreciate natin. Baka kaya. That's one factor of the Manila Bay issue na siguro pag mga taong to nakitang aesthetic na maganda, they would be more responsible in taking care of it, which is true. Yeah, yeah I, I think yun na nga eh, uh, sometimes, kaya nga, you know, sometimes we also talk about this, Dave, you know that, na talaga yata hindi na natin pwedeng separate ang environment and politics, no? It, to a certain degree, at at some some point talagang nagaano nagbabangga at nag intertwine sila eh. so anyway at this point i would like to acknowledge si Zeus uh, Velasquez who's watching uh, right now and the president of Action Kalikasan yes uh, good afternoon yes good afternoon and uh, uh, he said that indeed environmentalism is going beyond yourself very very powerful words thank you sir uh, for uh, joining us then we also have uh, Grace Rigala, who's my comare from Tarlac. Uh, he's also watching. Hello, po. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then we have uh, Iman Im- Ah. Well, then, uh, yeah, we have Lynn Rose Mariano, who's also my kamagana, because he's watching, in, uh, watching from uh, Tarlac, I guess. No. So, yun, uh, these are the, uh, the, some of the people who, are, who have joined our chat. So, uh, yeah, Dave. Pushing it a little bit more, no? Uh, pushing things a little bit more. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> you, you para, para ko na to. <laughs> Pag-aangal, talagang gano'n, nahuli kita. <laughs> na, nahuli kita dito sa aking hot seat. Anyway, yeah, uh, you mentioned kanina about the uh, uh, yung, yung land use policies natin. What do you think is the, ano, is the biggest problem we have? sa ating land use policies right now? Uh, ang problema kasi talaga it's a social issue. No? Uh, kung ikaw ay uh, ramdam mo na wala kang walang kahihinatnan like for our farmers and other people, uh, wala kang sense of progress, parang down ka na, bound ka sa utang and everything, you will eventually say na perhaps I need to move on. That's the, the problem of 
Pwede mo kasi sabihin na this is agricultural land lang eh. Kahit ka magkaroon ng law about it, if the people living in that area are not given the right uh, assistance, I don't think if, even if we have a national land use policy, it will be just a law. Eh. It, it should be a law and a social, uh, uh, anong tawag na doon? No, social assistance uh, of the government and of, uh, you know, the community. Oh, that's very important. Eh. Uh, community embarking into the community bayanihan. Ito, ito minsan nawala na rin sa atin, di ba? Yung magtulungan tayo na naiaiaplip ang bawat isa. Kasi dati noon sa province, di ba? Wala kang makain, eh. hindi ka naman magugutom, eh, kahit wala kang pera. Eh. Kindle that and then empower the communities, empower those who are tilling the land. Uh, then we will have a very important uh, land use policy. Also, siyempre, uh, be strong with the, the law. O ikaw ay executive, kailangan i-implement mo yan. Uh, let us, and then for the people, for the voters, let us also respect the law. And then, uh, tanggapin natin na ano, pag tayo ay nasagasaan at uh, kailangan nating intindihin din yung ating mga mayor, mga governor, at tama yung ginagawa, isuportahan naman po natin. <laughs> okay, uh, I agree. Now, uh, yeah, see, uh, Eugene de la Cruz is also watching. Uh, Eugene is my classmate from <laughs> from uh, way back in our uh, no, uh, high school days. No? And uh, yeah, we also have a uh, another um, comment from uh, Sir Sius Velasquez. Uh, as I see it, the accountabilities of the LGUs are very weak in regard to the climate crisis. While it is understandable that there really are equally important and pressing other concerns, the neglect of the environment and, res and response to the climate crisis is catastrophic and chronic. Yeah, really. Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, Dave, can you, can you say something about... Uh, yung comment ni uh, Sir Sius. Uh, Ang nakakalungkot kasi, you know, uh, para kay President Chua at Sir Anton, nakakalungkot kasi every time there is a disaster, initial response is, you know, syempre, magdala ng mga, ang tawag doon, mga relief goods and everything, pagkain and everything. Pag nasira yung bahay, i-rebuild natin para may bahay uli sila. But we, I, I don't know, Have we, have the LGUs or the government ever asked, ano ba yung root cause ng problem? Paano ba natin magagawang ma-alleviate yung situation para next time, hindi naman maging ganong kalala? Ano ba yung root cause? Paano ba mas magiging empowered ang mga LGUs? Although it, it has improved naman compared to that, it has improved naman. Pero there should be really a, uh, a uh, study on uh, locally. Ano ba yung prone? Ano ba yung kailangan talaga bigyan na action? And then itong mga housing na pinoprovide, baka naman kailangan baguhin ng konti yung ating kasi ng tinatayong mga bahay. Baka naman kailangan medyo tayo lumayo sa, sa danger prone area. Alam mo yan, solutions that are longer lasting rather than yung paulit-ulit na nangyayari sa atin. Hindi naman tayo makakaiwas eh. The Philippines is an archipelago daanan ng bagyo and it will be worse but you know, we should be prepared and our preparedness should be something that is, uh, you know, forward, forward thinking and forward preparing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I understand. L laging, ano, eh, lagi kasi, you know, we're always caught unaware of things, eh, diba? And even uh, how, how accurate, uh, you know, weather predictions are, no? In uh, storm tracking and everything. Nagagawa na ng paraan yan, nakikita na. Pero still, Kapag tumama bagyo, problema pa rin eh. Hindi na, hindi uh, ano eh. Parang uh, we just can't get out of that hole, no? Laging, you know, and and uh, things will, will unravel the way they are. Okay, nasira yung bahay, namatay ng ganon, ipalibing, nasira yung bahay, ipa, ano, ipa, you know, ipa-repair, or i ilikas muna sila, then let them back. So, laging ganon. So, it's a recurring thing na siguro... I think we should also focus on you know, disaster preparedness. Alam na natin ganun eh, and we are all of the, uh, uh, all of us are of the uh, opinion, uh, you know, the climate is really getting worse. So really, we really have to be prepared for this. 
So, uh, yes. Uh, uh, siguro, Sir yeah. Anton, masakit man. The truth hurts, but siguro one of the, the characteristics na na-abuse sa atin. Hindi ito ugali yung Pilipino eh. Ng mga mananakop sa atin. Eh, minsan ayaw natin ng mahirap na gawain. No? Parang ayaw natin napapagod tayo masyado sa ating mga ginagawa. So, we think about the easier solution yung madaling gawin para tapos na agad makapag-chesta na tayo. Wag po kayo magagalit ha. I'm just speaking the truth. Kasi minsan, ganun din naman ako. Eh, which is a value that we should really, you know, uh, get over with if we want to progress uh, as, a, as a nation and as a country. Yeah, yeah. Really correct. Correct, Dave. You know, uh, we'd like to acknowledge at this point si Jeff Villanocha who's watching all the way from uh, Cebu City. So, uh, good afternoon, uh, Jeff. Good afternoon. Yeah. Also, yung uh, nabanggit po kanina, <laughs> natawa ako dun. <laughs> yung, <laughs> yung laging, you know, anyway. On the, on the... Ganyan, ganyan kasi, di ba? Papasok ka lang <laughs> sa government, eh. papasok ka lang alas, alo, alas 9, di ba? Tapos magkakape ka ng 9.30, matatapos yung kape mo alas 10.30. Magtatrabaho ka 10.30 to 11.30, tapos break. Click ka ng 1.30, tapos ganun ulit. Tapos pagdating ng 4.00, May kausap ka na sa phone. So, diba? <laughs> really? Dave, ito nakakatawa. <laughs> yeah, and I'm and I'm glad we're having fun no, discussing all of this kasi kung we cannot present all of these problems with a smile no, or or with a laugh, with laughter. Eh wala, ba, sasakit lang ang ulo natin dito might as well. At the, we will also infect the people watching us uh, with, with the headaches, no? So, hey, baka, baka tinatanong nila, bakit ba sinasabi nung kasi Sir Anton yung mga ganun na issue eh? Wala namang kinalaman sa Edvar. Meron po kasi yun. Kasi kung talaga, you know, if you work uh, really harder and more, baka, baka mas marami tayong, tayong magawa for our country. Kaya lang, siyempre eh. Hindi ko naman sinasabi, hindi nga ako exempted doon. Ang nangyayari din sa akin yun eh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, on a, on a lighter note, uh, Dave. Alam mo, uh, David D. Uh... Uh, D'Angelo ang full name ni Dave but a lot of people don't really know kung ano yung D no? yung uh, middle initial mo eh. and uh, if everybody knows uh, you know yung, there's a certain great guy from the US na, who goes by the name of uh, Franklin Delano Roosevelt <laughs> and napansin ko Delano ka rin sa, ano, sa yes, yes. Video, no? so Dave, any relationship with that great guy? <laughs> he is my uh, great, great, great uncle. Oh, yes. Sabi ko na nga. Eh. Is, yes. Ah, okay. Maraming, so, maraming hindi naniniwala kasi Pilipino, nasa Pilipinas, diba? but, but that is, the, my, my grandfather is uh, Warren Bates uh, Delano. Oh, oh okay. So, hindi ba tayo ma-charge ng, ano, ng uh, interventionism nito? I am born in the Philippines in uh, Malolos, Bulacan. Ang uh, ang nanay ko po ay uh, Lipina. So ako po ay 100% na Pinoy. Alam ko po yung mga salitang habon, uh, ba? Jemo. Uh, oh, diba? <laughs> salipaw-paw. Oh, hindi, hindi nyo alam ano yung salipaw-paw. Alam mo ka na Sir Anton ang salipaw-paw? Hindi. <laughs> aeroplano. Yan, ang Tagalog sa aeroplano, salipaw-paw. Yan. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Kaya po Pilipino po tayo. Yeah. You know, I'm 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 into biking uh, lately. <laughs> si Dave, nag-uusap kami about biking, no? Sabi nga niya, mahirap akong mag-bike ng mag-bike eh. Kasi sa itsura ko, mukha ako Amerikano, baka mapano ako. <laughs> Ilang beses na ako na ganyan, kaya pag minsan lumalabas ako, may dalawa akong damit eh. May lalakaran akong, ano, importante. I usually look haggard. Mm-hmm. Para atin si ba, pulubi naman. Hindi na ako maho-hold up. Mahirap me eh. Kasi nung minsan, I had one time, okay. I was pulled up in a bus. Tapos luma yung dala kong cellphone. I had this old cellphone. So nung kinukuha sa akin, tapos nakita na yung cellphone ko, luma, kinukpok pa sa akin, sasang nagalit. Perkano ka, tapos ito lang ang cellphone mo, wala ka pa pambili. <laughs> Sabi ko, parang del- mas delikado pa yata, magpangit yung dala ko. Parang <laughs> ikamamatay ko rin. <laughs> yeah. Great. Dapat ano eh, bago ka hold up it, tanongin ka muna. You, ano, you, you American, you, you talk Tagalog? 
<laughs> Tanungin ka muna, magulat pa sila sa Dave kapag nagtagal. Ay, alam mo, share ko lang, lo. Yung, pag nasa bus ako, usually, when I commute, mayroong translation na nangyayari. Doon, to, to, ha. Dumadaan sa akin, ano mo, may kito ng tubig, di ba? Tubig, tubig, pagdaan sa akin, water, bottle of water, seryoso yan. At yung mani, 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 peanuts, peanuts, sir, peanuts, automatic translation. And sometimes, nalilibre pa po ako sa public transport. So, nakikita ko yung, ano, yung ano to, yung conductor. Tinititigal ako. Tapos lang kayo bumabalik na. Pag tinatawag ko, hindi ako minapansin. Kung <laughs> <laughs> mga ano, tagalugi mo ka agad para wala nang usapan. Nagkakakot yata, kala mag-i-English. <laughs> Alam mo naman eh, ma- mahirap din ang ano eh. You know, uh, sometimes uh, we Filipinos are very mayabang, but we also get intimidated once in a while, especially kung ano, kung puti yung uh, nakaharap natin, no? But at any rate, yes, uh, at least we're lighting lighting up the show a little bit, uh, making it a, li- a little bit palatable for everyone. Now, I have a uh, no, I have a question for you, Dave. You know this girl, si Greta Thunberg. Mm. Okay, she's the girl who said it's useless to go to school. Kasi mamamatay din lang kami. Paaralin nyo pa kami. No? You know, uh, in, in more ways than one, she said that. Do you agree with that? Uh, personally, I don't agree that it's useless to go to school. But I would not say that Greta Thunberg is wrong. Because each of us has his or her own reality. So Greta Thunberg is, you know, he has a, he also has this condition. So probably her belief is different dahil nakita niya ang katotohanan and that is her truth and let us acknowledge her truth. For, for me, I think education is very important but we will not learn from that education and we will not see the reality of life and make our lives better and education would re- truly be useful because education, again, without knowledge is useless. Tama. You know, I I interviewed the uh, two youngsters, no, mga Gen Zers, no, mga to, eh. and uh, both a, a a girl and and a boy, no, uh, from pero mga science high school, kasi to mga to kaya medyo ma, you know, medyo articulate yung mga bata, and both of them, you know, uh, it was a unique situation, eh. did not believe or or did not both of them, both uh, these youngsters didn't like yung ano yung principles niya na that that uh, Greta Thunberg is uh, yung kanya mga narratives are not acceptable and uh, they the yung unacceptability was born out of sinasabi niya na to hell with education ang sinasabi nila if you we're not educated i mean how do we how could we now uh, make our own narratives how could we now tell the people na ito ang uh, kailangan gawin. Eh, wala nga kami pinag-aralan. Eh, so how do we do that? So yun ang ano, uh, really, I think, except for that, they they were very powerful. Uh, that was a very powerful statement coming from Greta. However, it might, you know, nadidilute yung, ano, eh, yung power nun because of the, you know, aspiration of a lot of, of our youth to also learn. You know, nagiging problema. Para bang, laban dun sa gusto nila mangyari. Siguro if we will contextualize what Greta is saying that uh, education is useless because let's let us take a look at all, all, of, all of the leaders. No? They are educated. They know that what, this is what happening. But what what are they doing? No? Parang ano yung natutunan nila sa education nila? Perhaps that's the narrative of, of Greta Thun, Thunberg. No? Uh, and if we are also educated ourselves, we should see beyond those narrative. When you are pwedeng i-curse yung messenger so dahil sa negative message eh. If you are, I, I, don't, I am not criticizing anyone. Ah. But we could be a better environmentalist and better citizens of this earth if we will see the white space rather than the dot. Ito yung problema ko, may dot dyan. Yan, nakita mo yung itim na dot sa isang napakalaking papel, di ba? And hindi ka na naniniwala dun sa message na but the whole of the message is good. Tingnan natin. Let us look at the positive message rather than focusing on the negative na ay ano daw sa education. So let's not believe that's not what it should be. 
focus on what's positive, focus on the good message, and then we can all learn and be better. Yeah, of course, uh, these kids, naman that I mentioned kanina, uh, they just disagreed with that particular, you know, element of the of the narrative. No? However, yung iba naman, they agreed with her, no? uh, like you know, uh, her uh, pro pro environment stance. No, she, they are also, uh, they also agree with her. However, yun lang dun sa dun sa point na yun, talagang they they really resisted it. So, I mean, food for thought lang to. So, the Green Party of the Philippines could have a, a good sense of what the Gen Zers think uh, pagdating dun sa mga statements na yun. Uh, napakasikat, no? Napakasikat na mga statement from Gre- Greta. But, yan ang ano, feedback from the Gen Zers. So, yeah. So, Dave, uh, going back to uh, yung ano, yung uh, yung uh, you know y- yung uh, uh like or uh, wish of the gpp to uh, throw its hat into the political arena you know may mga nagsasabi diyan no? Dave, sorry again ha <laughs> may mga nagsasabi diyan na yung mga environment environment siya mga yan pero yun yun pala eh they only want to you know just get into the get, get into the pie of things no na makikilam na naman sila sa politika. So, towards, y- yung mga statements na ganon, na bakit di na lang kayo maging, you know, involved in uh, lobbying and, you know, uh, sa, tungkol sa environment, bakit kailangan pa ninyong sumala, uh, sumali pagdating sa politika? So, any, ano, any reaction to that, to that observation, Dave? Uh, siguro, uh, we could ask ourselves, no? Uh, yung mga nandyan uh, sa government natin siguro since I was young they are technically the same people over and over again uh, there are few changes but majority of them are the same people and we had progress yes but it is very slow because we are expecting changes using the same tools that we are, that we have uh Advocating is pretty good. There's nothing wrong with it. But I think uh, communication is a two-way process. There's a sender and then there's a receiver. An advocate is sending message to the government to, how, to come up with policies, to implement policies, and execute them. But if there is no one, a lang strong and uh, uh, party or tao with a strong environmental sense of duty, to receive that message, putol, putol ang communication natin sa gitna eh. Yan ang kailangan natin gawin. Hindi man kami, kahit ibang organization yan, kahit ibang Green Party yan, yung maupo dyan, we will be thankful. Kasi we have to complete that communication process para mabuo yung pagbabago natin ng sistema into a better, a greener future. That we will have a future na andyan pa yung mga tinetreasure natin. Hangin, kagubatan, bundok, and everything. Kailangan makompleto yung communication process. And that is what we are hoping to do. For other green parties for that matter, hopefully, are uh, eyeing for. Yeah, okay, yes. Uh, agree, Dave. You know, yun nga sinasabi na, you talked about uh, a little about uh, progress, no? But progress, per se, that is detrimental to the environment is not progress at all kasi nagdo-draw back ka rin eh uh, you know you're moving forward but you're moving backwards at the same time so sana uh, ma ma inculcate no sa sa mindset na nating mga Pilipino na okay sige it's not bad to be progressive however let's not forget about the environment because if we do forget about the environment if the environment throws us back mas ano, mas grabe yung ano yung mag- regression natin so yun yung ano uh, nagiging problema i think Sige. i would not baka mabore kasi parang i think the main problem here is how we view the yaman no yaman ng isang bansa no and worldwide problem to I talk about the gnp the gdp and everything alang consideration sa environmental resources as part ang yaman ng bawat bansa. Progress, for me, ay ke- pwede magpatuloy 
ang problema lang, gaya nga ng sabi ni David Attenborough, we forgot to integrate the environment into progress. Dapat kasama eh. Kasama natin yung environment eh. Hindi pa pwedeng Go progress ka lang, development buildings and everything, tapos sisirain mo to. Pa, pa, paano na? It should be an integrator. We should work with nature, sabi niya. Sabi ni David Attenborough. This is a, a, a documentary. You can watch it. Sabi niya ito, talagang uh, na, ano ko to, na value ko to. We should start working with nature and not against nature. So that is the way progress should go forward. Yeah, and Dave, uh, I think everybody should be aware na, you know, Mother Nature doesn't need us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We need her, no? So, if we make progressive plans for ourselves at hindi natin siya kinukonsider, baka tayo, kapag siya umiwan sa atin, mas delikado tayo, you know? That's what is, kahit nga wala tayo dito, eh. Hindi naman kailangan ng mga, honestly, di ba? Hindi naman... The, the the animals, the trees, and everything on earth doesn't need us. We are we are truthfully uh, a virus in the in the in the equation of this planet. That's the truth. So we have to behave ourselves because we need the earth more than the earth needs us. Yeah. So you know, a, a concrete example of that, uh, David. If I may just uh, add in, you know, yung Angkor Wat, di ba? Angkor Wat in uh, uh it's a it's a uh, parang it's a lost civilization na ngayon no ang nangyari kasi doon parang inabandon umalis sa mga tao what happened the forest took over <laughs> so that's mother nature i mean talagang if uh, mawawala tayo she will survive and with ano uh, chernobyl uh, that's shown in the david attenborough documentary he went he went back to chernobyl yung site nung pagsabog na yun and the forest uh, took it over. Yan, ando na. Diba, mas nauna pang uh, buhay dun sa taas ng radiation or lugar na yun. Yeah, isipin mo, under under very, ano, di ba, adverse uh, conditions, uh, yung nagkaroon nga ng ano, nuclear, you know, ex- explosion there and, uh, and contaminated yan the entire area. But still, Mother Nature was able to heal that and do something about it. So really, you know, uh, ladies and gentlemen, let's not underestimate or, you know, uh, the and underestimate Mother Nature. Kailangan natin siyang gabayan, no? I mean, or hindi, para siya ang gagabay sa atin. We uh, need to help her so she can help us. So yun ang ano, magandang, uh, I think, just a piece of my, my mind for everybody uh, this afternoon. Yeah, Dave, uh, alam mo ba, ano, isang oras na tayong nagdadaldalan dito kapag, kapag dahil talaga kaya tayo kaya tayo tama. <laughs> Siguro bago tayo, ano, if ever, I would like to address yung sinabi dito ni Jeff, no? Pilya Nocha. Sabi niya, one of our problems, the, we keep advocating planting the trees, but no one advocates aftercare. Basta nakatanim tapos sa picture, hindi na nila binabalikan para kamustahin. Alam mo, mahalaga to, no? Kasi ang importante sa tree planting is the coordination with the localities, no? Yung mga taong nandun. Uh, dapat magtulong kayo na after na matanim yun, they would also care of the trees. Then alam nila yung value ng mga puno na tinatanim na to. Kasi kapag nagtanim ka, hindi talaga doon natatapos. It should be not only tree planting, kaya nga sabi ko nung nag-usap tayo, Sir Anton, it should be a biodiversity uh, pagdan uh, from uh, re greening parang re, uh, creating the biodiversity beyond the trees nagtanim ka ng trees dapat mayroong mabuo pang beyond the trees dapat yung mga nawala kung mayroong man nawala o may dumating na mga bagong ayop doon at napakahalaga ng community participation without them kahit ka magtanim na magtanim walang mangyayari or better magtanim ka sa malapit sa lugar mo para kaya mong puntahan <laughs> the other way around yeah para kaya mong protektahan diba you know uh yeah uh some other tools na importante kasi sa tree planting yun nakakalimutan yun eh yung tree guard kailangan may tree guard kasi kundi tatapak-tapakan lang ng mga you know stray animals yan then there should be at least five weeding passes yung mini weed ba para dililinis para sigurado'ng tumubo 
Ang nangyayari kasi, Dave, no, unfortunately and very sad, ang nangyayari kasi sa atin, once na nagkaroon ng tree planting, people are just concerned dun sa selfie, eh, sa photo ops. <laughs> and, uh, you know, the tarpaulin na ilalagay nila doon. You know, let's go beyond that, uh, you know, ladies and gentlemen. Hindi natin talaga, ano, hindi natin, uh, walang mangyayari sa ating mga tree planting kung puro ganun lang. But uh, siguro, for those who want our, ano, a little bit more of uh, what we can uh, recommend sa mga tree planting activities, uh, please email us uh, and you could drop us a, you know, uh, a PM sa aming, ano, uh, kay Dave or to myself. And uh, we could share with you some uh, workable, workable plans on how to really implement a tree planting activity. So yeah, Dave, ah, I'm really sorry, pero alam mo, baka ano eh, baka magsawa sa atin yung mga tao kung <laughs> an hour longer. At any rate, you know, it's been the tradition in uh, Pro Earth Chats no, na itong question na ito hindi nawawala. Eh. So, uh, and uh, at the end of the show, we always... Parang kinabahan ako doon, parang pang ano, Mr. Universe. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite color, Dave? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Honestly, green talaga favorite color ko. That's the truth. Walang ano, no, uh, green, green. Yeah, good. Green good. and black kasi medyo chubby ako kaya kailangan black yung suot ko madalas. Para medyo. <laughs> anyway, the question is, Dave, if you were Mother Earth, what will your message to humankind be? Honestly? Yes, please. Go ahead. Speak out your mind, man. <laughs> Yeah, like I'm mother, there, there, there will be one message. Grow up and do something about what you're doing. Or else, I will expel you from, from this place. And I think yung nararamdaman niya ngayon, eh, diba? Inis na inis na siya sa atin. Totoo lang. Mga kapagsalita lang. Paagalaw lang, baka pinalo na tayo, eh, diba? <laughs> kung, may, kung may hawak lang na patpat, ha? Palo. Yeah, seriously, diba? Yeah, Ang kulit ng mga to, ano ba? Nagpapasensya na ako sa inyo. Hindi <laughs> kayo nakikinig. <laughs> yeah. And you know, Dave, uh, it's, uh, you know, it's curiously, no? lahat ng mga tinanong natin ng ganitong question, medyo may konting galit. You know, talagang ano, mukhang very, very pronounced na yung kapabayan na ginagawa natin sa ano, skay ng kalikasan. So really, on that note, Dave, uh, would you have uh, uh, some parting shots for for uh, our you know uh, audience today oh uh, yeah first, first and foremost thank you uh, sir anton and the pro earth uh, procedures for inviting me to pro earth chats finally no pro earth chatters na rin. so thank you also guys i would like to invite you to watch the akawatang kalikasan tv aktv every wednesday that's every wednesday at 2 pm this wednesday mag invite ako sir anton ha? uh yeah. our uh, topic is about uh, Clean energy uh, addition for your vehicle. We have a represent a guest from the Rotary Club of Alampang Madrigal Business Park. So, napaka-interesting nito. Ilalagay nyo lang sa engine nyo and it would help uh, cut a lot of carbon uh, emission. Also, every uh, Fridays and Saturdays at the Rotary Club Alabang Madrigal Business Park, we have the Zoomcast. So, you can also join. We, uh, we have a lot of uh, great speakers, mga leaders, business leaders, and everything. Uh, various topics uh, discuss sa marami po kayong matutunan. And you could also join join the club, join Rotary Club of Alabang. Also join Action Kalikasan. Iba-iba naman classic organization to. Uh, Action Kalikasan is of course an NGO. Uh, we're a political. So you can uh, visit the website, actionkalikasan.org. And if you uh, want to, you know, do something more about it, uh, join the movement and uh, kalampagin natin ang pagbabago uh, hindi lang sa rally ah hindi po kami mas hindi po kami masyadong mahilig sa rally we, we want to really support uh, more actions and then uh, create policies through the green party of the philippines just visit our uh, facebook page gup kalikasan muna and our website www.greenparty.ph uh, the lighter note Gusto niyo po ng mga nakakatawa, mga vlog review, uh, subscribe po sa YouTube channel ko, uh, youtube.com 
slash ang Pogi Show and Instagram.com slash Master Pogi PH. Yun naman po yung ano ko, uh, lighter side, mga pagkain, mga vlog reviews, uh, and everything, mga katatawanan sa buhay. Kasi kailangan din natin yun eh. Bawal lang masyadong seryoso, baka tayo ma-stroke. Yun. <laughs> okay, so the, there goes Dave, you know, the multidimensional kind of person. Kaya ano eh, kaya... <laughs> No, very, you know, very uh, fun. I'm very fond of this guy, and uh, he's really a great person. So, uh, good luck, Dave, uh, to your endeavors, and good luck to GPP to our endeavors. So, uh, thank, you. And, uh, thank you very much for. Kailangan natin silang lahat, lahat na nono dan maray pang iba. We cannot do this alone. Yeah, thank you very much for uh, no for accepting our inv invitation for you to uh, guest in Pro Earth Chats. And uh, yeah, our next episode natin will be about uh, local trees, no? Yung mga, oh. ano, mga endemic trees dito sa Pilipinas. So uh, until then, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for being with us. God bless all of you. And mahalin natin siya ng kalakasan. Maraming salamat po sa inyo lahat. Dave, thank you. Dayon.